Rick Embry. We're going to chase some raccoons tonight. I'm going to try to. You reckon? And what kind of dogs you got? Two walker hounds tonight. You said that's the only kind of coon dog there is? Yeah, that's the only kind I think there is. <laughs> anyway, a lot of people argue that fact with you. Now, obviously, it's not wintertime. No. It's May. And uh, But it's not, you can still get out and get after them. Right. You, you just still, can't shoot them out. You still train your dogs, you just ain't allowed to shoot them. Now, how many, how often do you run your dogs throughout the year? I drive school bus. So it's hard to do through the week. But now, when school's out, we'll hunt five, six nights a week. No kidding. All year long. Yeah. Even in the heat of summer. Now, what uh, you anticipate we'll see tonight? Uh, hopefully, we'll make two or three drops tonight and see a coon ever drop, we hope. No kidding. Tell us about some of the yeah. equipment you use nowadays. Well, my son's 14. When I was 14, I was the GPS. Yeah. <laughs> Dad said, go get the dog, son. Yeah. We've got GPS collars now. We've had them four or five years. I've yet to leave a dog in the woods since I've had one. You better knock on wood. So far. So far, so good. Uh, so, you, I mean, you can well look at this GPS money. deal yeah. and, and know how far the dog is from you and where he's at. Exactly, at all times. Yeah. Got maps on it, shows all roads. I can look at it and say, well, he's treated over there within 50 yards of 10 buck two road. And a lot of times I get truck drive over to him instead of walking three miles. Sounds like the way to work. What do you think? Time to let him out? Yeah, it's getting close. Let's see who you got in there. They're ready to play, aren't they? Whoop, whoop. What makes a good coon dog? Uh, just as long as they get out, do what they're supposed to do, and don't do no foolishness. <laughs> whoa, Candy, whoa. Uh, you like one to go, you know, stir good. Generally, if we turn them loose together, 95% of the time we get them off the tree. They don't huh. come back. I think she's a four year old, and he's going six. She may be closer to five now. But that's a wizard, this is candy. Wizard and candy. Yeah. How's it going, guys? Well, hey, let's uh, let's let them let them rip. Exciting. <laughs> Now, how'd you get into this? Did your dad do it? Yep. I'd say I probably started hunting the time I was five years old, six. Old enough to halfway keep up. <laughs> uh, and dad hunted for years, six, seven nights a week. <clears throat> kind of got to chasing the girls and got out of it a little bit and then got back into it. Brother-in-law and them started hunting. Now, our young'uns, they eat, sleep, and drink it too. So. It's just something about hunting with a hound. I mean, we deer hunt, we have turkey hunt, don't turkey hunt a lot, but it's something about a dog. We've got beagle hounds, coon hounds. I like to hear the dogs. what you want right there. Well, they did their job. You know, on that first uh, place, I'm not so convinced there wasn't a coon up in that tree. We couldn't see all parts of that Probably, tree. and like there's a big limb blow down the back side of it. Coon would have very well been down in where that limb blowed out. And this is a little bit different for those uh, folks who are watching expecting to shoot one out. It's not that time of year. Right. But that doesn't mean you can't get out and get her done. Exactly. So This is when you get your dogs going. Yeah. Now, you know, they obviously aren't going to be in for the fight tonight and they're not going to see one come out, but they're still ready to go. Yeah, they are. When we turn them loose, I go find another one. Really? You just do it all night? All night. Now, I noticed uh, somebody over here. You going to make it to school tomorrow? I'm going to try to. You going to try to? No, he will. Ah. <laughs> so My, you, you yeah. had a choice. You can go tonight, but you got to go to school tomorrow, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Mama done put the word on him. Put the word on him. You'll go, but you'll go to school. He goes to a good school. I talked to that, that group not too long ago, a bunch of good guys down. A lot of, lot of, lot of fellas and girls down there are hunting and fishing and watching Kentucky yeah. Phil. Yeah, we like sure. that. Well, boys, let's walk back up the hill. I believe we got what we need. All righty. Thank good you. Work.